did say every detail of it was crazy to him. He said, I don't have words for it. It stinks. It was never intended, and he said he never could have envisioned any of it. Beckham said he doesn't blame anyone. He enjoyed his time in Cleveland, which led to the handwritten goodbye letter to the city that he posted on social media. He said he felt a little rusty at the only practice he had with the team on Saturday after being off the field the last two weeks. I asked him during pregame warm-ups how much of the playbook he now knows and what we should expect. He just smiled and said, we'll see. All right, let's see how early and how often they go to him. Stafford's looking his way immediately, and there it is. That took about 11 seconds. Let's get him right in the game, right? Why not? Beckham five, it. that's perfect. Beckham back in there, fake it to Henderson. Stafford has time, all sorts of time. Deep shot, middle of the field. Beckham was nowhere close, it is Jimmy Ward. Welcome back, Jimmy Ward for the 49ers. Picks off Matthew Stafford. We wondered about these two in communication, and we see it right off the bat in the first drive. Matthew Stafford is anticipating Odell Beckham to continue on this route. It's a broken play, and Matthew Stafford is buying time. When you get to this situation right here, he just put it up, and you see that's Odell Beckham there. He just stops on the route. Yeah, that's a nice job by San Francisco, though, of defending those three levels. That's how you start it off. That's how you give your offense more possessions. But he was enamored with Odell Beckham, and I can understand why. Stafford has time to survey. It's Odell Beckham Jr. His second catch of the night. That's for 14. So I like out wide where you know, hey, listen, these are the routes you're going to run. You're going to run a go route. You're going to run a stop route. You're going to run a comeback like that. One more kneel down, and this one should be history. 